Oscar Wilde once said, the difference between journalism and literature is that journalism is unreadable and literature is unread. The legacy of Santa Fe's literary roots began in 1610 when Gaspar Pérez de Viagra wrote his epic poem, La Historia de la Nueva México. Viagra was a captain in the Spanish military who traveled with Juan de Oñate in the 1598 expedition to New Mexico. The soldier scribe documented the first European foothold in North America. The ancient narrative chronicles the arduous journey of those who traveled with Oñate, encountering a treacherous hot desert where even the horses suffered from consuming thirst. It also provided a succinct depiction of the cruelty thrashed upon the native people by the Spanish explorers. Lou Wallace, who was the governor of New Mexico from 1878 through 1881, wrote the epic Ben-Hur in 1880 from Santa Fe. Considered the most influential Christian book of the 19th century, it was later made into an Academy Award winning movie. The Lou Wallace Building on Old Santa Fe Trail is named in his honor. As a young man, Felipe Chacon was the editor of several Spanish language newspapers in New Mexico from 1911 through the 1930s, including Santa Fe's El Nuevo Mexicano. He was also the author of El Cantor Novo Mexicano, Posea y Prosa. Published in 1924, the book of short stories and poetry was one of the few Spanish language books of its kind during that era in New Mexico. During the early part of the 20th century, Willa Cather wrote Death Comes for the Archbishop at La Fonda Hotel, where she lived in 1927. It was the quintessential book of that era, thinly disguised as fiction based on the life of Archbishop Jean-Baptiste Lamy and the conflicts he encountered from the Spanish-Mexican clergy during New Mexico's territorial period. Today, the book is listed by the Modern Library as one of the best English language novels of the 20th century. In 1973, the U.S. Postal Service issued a stamp of Willa Cather. Oliver Lafarge was awarded a Pulitzer Prize in 1929 for his book, Laughing Boy. A descendant of Benjamin Franklin, he spent many years in Santa Fe where he championed the culture of Native Americans. As an anthropologist, his books depict an accurate representation of Native American life. Fray Angelico Chavez, a member of one of Santa Fe's founding families, is considered the preeminent Hispanic historian of New Mexico. The Catholic priest was also an artist and the author of several books, including Origins of New Mexico Families, New Mexico's Bible for Genealogists Researching Their Spanish Roots. The Fray Angelico Chavez Library at the Palace of the Governors is named in his honor. Joe Sando arrived in Santa Fe at the age of 13 to attend the Santa Fe Indian School. Although he didn't speak a word of English, he could sing all of his Native American songs from the Hemis Pueblo in Spanish. Sando was the first Native American in New Mexico to document the culture of the Pueblo Indians through his many books that have become invaluable documentation for historians. Tony Hillerman, the renowned mystery writer of the Southwest, began his career as an editor at the Santa Fe New Mexican. His award-winning detective novels introduced the world to this region's Native American culture, which he so eloquently described in his books. His daughter, Anne Hillerman, has followed in her father's footsteps and is also a journalist and mystery writer. In 1992 and again in 1997, the Marian scholar and writer, Jacqueline Dunnington, received two apostolic blessings from the Vatican for her books on Our Lady of Guadalupe. Author Nasario Garcia is considered one of the state's most distinguished folklorists. He received the Historical Society of New Mexico Lifetime Achievement Award for his contributions as an educator, community activist, and author of New Mexico history. Mark Simmons' weekly column, Trail Dust, has been published in area newspapers for the last 30 years. Considered an authority on the Santa Fe Trail, he is the author of 45 books. This is Ana Pacheco with Threads of Santa Fe History.